What was it like playing in a conference for the first time? I thought it was really cool because you actually followed other teams. Being independent, you just looked at your next opponent. You didn't look four games down the road or people that you played in the past and didn't really pay attention. But being in a conference, you always try to watch how other people are doing, you know. You watch Memphis, you know, beat Ole Miss, you know, things like that. You watch Houston, you know, beating Vanderbilt and Louisville, games like that. So I thought it was really cool because you start to watch other teams and you also recognize that this is a really good conference. <laughs> The conference championship is obviously something that's important to you guys now, but playing for the Commander-in-Chief's trophy is also something that I know is equally important, if not maybe more important. Uh, what does it mean to you guys to bring that trophy home at the end of the year? Well, we've been fortunate enough to go to the White House 10 times and it never gets old. It's always a great experience to meet the President of the United States, for your team to go there. Um, but being in the conference has given us two major goals now, you know, and, they're kind of like right on par. Both of them are the same, win the conference, win the Commander Chief Trophy. Those are our two main goals going to every year. And playing in the Army-Navy game, another really neat event um, that takes place every year in tradition. What is that day like? Does that day ever get old or repetitive? Is it a different experience for you every year? Well, regardless of how good or bad your season is going prior to that or whatever their record is, you can throw all of that out when you play them. The nerves are at a different level. Uh, when the freshmen come as plebes to the academy, uh, a lot of their rights as a human being are taken away, but they're still allowed to say, go Navy, beat Army. And so it's ingrained in them for four years that that's their goal to beat Army in anything that we do. And so um, our kids are always tight, you know, because they want to beat them so bad. They want to beat us so bad. You have a healthy respect for them, but uh, you also recognize for our seniors that this is their last chance before they go serve our country. For you personally, what is it about game day that sticks out to you? What's your favorite moment on game day where maybe you just take it in and really experience it? I've been coaching for 27 years at a lot of different stadiums across the country. Uh, West Coast, East Coast, in the Midwest, everywhere, um, cold, hot butterflies go everywhere <laughs> you know that exactly and we always joke about that it's like before the game and you're like i don't and the butterflies i have now going into my 27th season are the same when i had the first year they they never leave at the end of last season you had a tough decision to make um, in terms of coaching this year why is navy home to you i've been here almost two decades you know i've raised my family here my all my kids have gone to the same high school uh, you coach great kids, you coach kids that will protect our freedoms. I love Annapolis. Um, you know, and I've, I've had a couple of opportunities in my time here. But, you know, the old saying, the grass isn't always greener. Um, you know, I love it here. You know, and I love coming to work every day. And again, maybe when it gets to a point when I don't love coming to work every day, then maybe it's time to find a new job. <laughs>